NASA's furthest traveling rocket, Voyager 1, continues its incredible journey through space, flawlessly transmitting vital information from the universe's deepest regions. For nearly 50 years, this remarkable space experiment has revolutionized our understanding of space. But recently, the space apparatus has been sending unsettling signals back to Earth, leaving the entire space industry in disbelief. Are these disturbing signals the result of a technical malfunction or extraterrestrial activity? Join us as we delve into the truth behind these extraordinary transmissions. Since history began, scientists have been fascinated by the mysteries beyond our planet. This curiosity led to the historic launch of the Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 shuttles, among other groundbreaking space missions. These momentous missions, which had been discussed for quite some time, began with the launch of Explorer 2 from NASA's Kennedy Space Center on August 21, 1977. Fourteen days later, on September 5th of that same year, Explorer 1 followed suit. These twin spacecraft, each weighing a significant 720 kilograms, comparable to a small vehicle, were propelled into space during a unique alignment of the outer planets. Throughout their staggering odyssey, these courageous voyages navigated different directions and speeds, leading to a crucial moment on December 15, 1977, when Explorer 1 outpaced its identical twin due to variation in their paths. Since then, Explorer 1 has become a vital asset, providing a wealth of information and unraveling space-related secrets. Before we delve into Explorer 1's startling new discovery that stunned the entire space industry, let's explore the exceptional images captured by the rocket during its pivotal Jovian imaging mission in 1978. Positioned roughly 265 million kilometers from Earth, Explorer 1 communicated a stunning number of photos back to Earth. In January 1979, it embarked on an exceptional 100-hour endeavor, capturing a mesmerizing time-lapse film showcasing 10 rotations of Jupiter. A cornucopia of 3,750 pictures allowed us to observe Jupiter's magnificent dance in vivid detail. In the ensuing months, Explorer 1 wandered through the Jovian moon system, making a striking revelation. The presence of a small ring surrounding Jupiter and two new moons, which further expanded our understanding of Jupiter's fascinating domain. To ensure safe passage and prevent potential impact with Titan, one of Saturn's moons, corrective maneuvers were carried out. After the Saturn mission concluded, researchers decided to end the Explorer planetary mission. However, they also pushed both Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 beyond the boundaries of our planetary group, sending them hurtling through space at an astounding rate of 325 million kilometers per year. In January 1990, another chapter began with the Explorer Interstellar mission. Explorer 1 continued its celestial journey around Saturn, revealing four additional moons. Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, and Rhea. During this time, Explorer 1 captured some of the most iconic images in history, immortalizing the Sun and most of the planets. One individual crucial to this mission was the ardent advocacy of renowned astronomer Dr. IIS, a member of the Explorer mission's imaging team. His drive for capturing a final set of images as a farewell gift to humanity paid off on February 14, 1990, when Explorer 1, situated 6 billion kilometers from the Sun, embarked on a visual excursion known as the Planetary Group Family Picture. These breathtaking images, totaling 60, added to the shuttle's incredible collection of 670 photos during its encounter with Neptune. As Voyager 2 passed within 280 million miles of Neptune's blue methane atmosphere, it made an incredible achievement by recording wind speeds exceeding 13,100 meters per second the fastest winds ever recorded within our local planetary group. This provided amazing insights into this far-off celestial body, particularly Neptune's largest moon, Triton. The surface temperature of Triton plunges to a frigid minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit, making it one of the coldest places in our solar system. Our attention was also captured by Triton's unusual characteristics, which included ice volcanoes that spewed nitrogen gas, and propelled frozen particles five kilometers into its hazy atmosphere. These remarkable findings deepened our understanding of the extraordinary diversity and intricacy of celestial objects that inhabit the outermost regions of our local planetary group. However, these discoveries are not new. Let us first review the accomplishments of the Explorer 1 rocket, which recently made one of its most terrifying discoveries. 
the Explorer twin spacecraft have produced nothing less than remarkable results. Scientists were shocked and dismayed when they made their first observations of Jupiter and Saturn's moons more than 40 years ago. These moons, previously thought to be heavily scarred and dormant like our own moon, were actually teeming with geological activity. During its journey, Explorer 2, in particular, achieved several remarkable firsts. Three years after becoming the first shuttle to fly past Uranus, it accomplished another amazing feat, a flyby of Neptune. To this day, it remains the only spacecraft to have ventured on such a path. As the Explorer rockets continued their journey, NASA implemented various measures to extend their operational lifespan. To save energy, heaters and unnecessary parts were turned off in recent years, allowing the daring explorers to continue their mission well into the upcoming decade. The mission is expected to conclude in 2030. For the scientists and engineers involved in this amazing project from the start, the culmination of the explorer missions is a moment of pride and a hint of melancholy. Their unwavering dedication and passionate efforts have exceeded their initial expectations. Numerous scientists have made significant discoveries thanks to the abundance of data returned by the explorers, and it has also sparked the interest of countless researchers and space enthusiasts. Not your typical space probes, Explorers 1 and 2 were engineered to be stable platforms that rotated at a rate more than 15 times slower than a clock hour hand. This design choice reduced visual blurring while the spacecraft traveled across infinite space, gathering data and photographs long before they encountered the outer planets. Imaging capabilities began to astound both the general public and scientists before arriving at the gas giants. The spacecraft started sending pictures of Jupiter, showcasing its whirling clouds and famous features. At NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the Great Red Spot captivated spectators, but the discovery of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io commanded the most attention. The spacecraft's instruments detected unusual signals from Io, which were confirmed by the unique images they captured. Towering volcanic plumes and a surface scarred by eruptions revealed one of Io's most prominent volcanoes erupting with a force ten times greater than Mount St. Helens and covering an area nearly the size of France. The spacecraft's cameras were eventually turned off to conserve power and memory before their journey into interstellar space. It is noteworthy that the images they captured did not include Mercury and Mars for various reasons. Aside from the Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 probes positioned between stars, other notable NASA spacecraft include Voyager 10, Voyager 11, and New Horizons. On February 17, 1998, Voyager 10 passed Voyager 11, making it the spacecraft currently farthest from Earth. Even though there were no other space probes in sight to witness it, Voyager 1 continued its solo journey for a further 14 years until it ultimately entered the interstellar environment on August 25, 2012. The successful completion of the Explorer missions was made possible by various procedures, one of which stood out as particularly brilliant, gravity assist maneuvers. These maneuvers were crucial in getting Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 to their far-off destinations and collecting important data. The spacecraft required more than just their own propulsion systems to reach their targets. They needed a boost and gravity assists provided just that. Imagine the two fearless rockets. NASA did not publicly announce this amazing achievement until 2013, when Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 set out on their grand tour through the local planetary group. They didn't just rely on their engines to move. Instead, they danced in a celestial group with some of our local planets. These heavyweight planets formed groups and performed an amazing dance, using their strong gravitational pull to propel themselves forward. This allowed them to save fuel and achieve the speed needed to visit different locations. By examining the principles of gravitational slingshot or gravity assist, we find that the purpose of this maneuver is to provide the spacecraft with a small amount of a planet's energy as it passes by with extreme precision. Explorer 1 approached Jupiter, a large gas giant with significant gravitational attraction, passing Jupiter at the ideal angle and velocity. The spacecraft experienced a significant acceleration and increase in velocity due to Jupiter's gravitational pull. A gravity assist maneuver demands a high level of precision. Explorer 1 would have deviated disastrously from its intended course if it had approached Jupiter at the incorrect angle or speed. The accuracy required for these missions is daunting, but the brilliant minds behind them successfully executed these gravity assists multiple times, sending the Explorer spacecraft on an incredible journey.
The Grand Tour was made feasible by the use of celestial maneuvers by the local planetary group, with Explorer 2 utilizing gravity assistance from Jupiter and Saturn to reach Uranus and Neptune. The Explorer missions owe much of their success to these gravity aids. Let us consider the incredible journey of these trailblazing spacecraft and the wealth of knowledge they have provided us as we await more information from the ongoing investigation into Explorer 1's anomaly. Both Explorer 1 and 2 continue their missions beyond earthly bounds. The following are among their accomplishments. Jupiter and its moons asterisk Explorer 1's time-lapse showed 10 revolutions of the gas giant in vivid detail, including new moons and rings. The spacecraft's discovery of two new moons and a tiny ring around Jupiter has greatly increased our knowledge of Jupiter's intricate system. Saturn and its moons asterisk Explorer 1 discovered four more moons of Saturn, Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, and Rhea, and took remarkable photos of the gas giant and its rings. The spacecraft's findings on Saturn's rings and moons provided new insights into this celestial system. Uranus and Neptune asterisk the spacecraft made history by visiting these distant planets and providing valuable information on their atmospheres and moons. The observations of Uranus and Neptune added to our understanding of the outermost regions of our local planetary group. The interstellar journey asterisk after completing their planetary missions, Explorer 1 and 2 ventured into interstellar space, gathering data on the cosmic environment. The ongoing exploration of interstellar space has expanded our knowledge of the universe beyond our solar system. Stay tuned for more updates on Voyager 1's latest signals and the impact they may have on our understanding of the cosmos. The journey of these incredible spacecraft continues to inspire and captivate scientists and space enthusiasts alike.